Uh. I'm a boss like Hugo, you know, vocals on volcanic, neck is on Pluto, just trying to see investments, flip like judo, all around the world they hear my raps and get kudos, sinking my teeth in deals like a pit bull with the blue nose, pull off in the sports car with the two those, got new flows, pray I'll see tomorrow cause who knows, what the future might bring next, so what it do though? Hey Sam, I'm doing a hitchhiking trip when I graduate in like four months. When I come to Florida, could you sign my bag? I'm thinking if you come all the way out here, yeah, if you're coming from Arizona, I'll treat you to lunch or something like that. I had a brother-in-law that did the whole hitchhiker thing. Um, problem is, is that America's in a weird spot right now, right? People are fucking wiling out there. There's a lot of just unrest. People are wary of each other, and I feel like finding a ride is going to be slim chances. Now here's the problem, is that my brother-in-law looks like the guy that you would want to pick up if he was hitchhiking. He's just this bubbly little 5'4 guy, and he's like, hey, pick me up. Like he, he was just like, a, you look at him and go, that guy's not gonna rape and murder me. Look at yourself in the mirror and go like, is there a fucking chance that anybody even stops and picks me up? Oh, this guy says he's a twink? You're good to go, yeah. Yeah, just get some fucking, some hitchhiking Daisy Dukes. Maybe, uh, you know, you got your carry-on, your luggage, and when you're hitchhiking, maybe a little bit of this, a little bit out, you know? They'll stop for you. They'll pick you up, absolutely. I'll see you in tally. I'm meeting up with a twink. He's hitchhiking across the U.S. to come see me. <laughs> Sounds like I'm about to get hit with allegations. <laughs> I don't know if I want to see you anymore. <laughs> uh, this thing, I'm like 99% sure, is a giant dildo. It's just got a big rubbery type feel to it. Go ahead and get this one out of the way. While the twink's here, I gotta open up the giant dildo. This is not a giant dildo. It is actually a desk mat for something. For custom PCs. This guy's got a PC building company and he was like, I'll send him a desk mat. So he'll advertise for me. If you guys need a custom PC, go to Yeah, reasonable. Everybody's running over there right now to get their custom PC. Someone sent in a screwdriver. Oh, it's a joke. I didn't see this one earlier. I just dumped it and was talking about something else. Slight joke because Sam doesn't have uh, ah, switch covers on his wall. If you guys want one pretty outlet, I'll give you one pretty, or switch plate, I'll give you one pretty one. By the way, there's guys out there that are depressed and they're, they're like, hey, I'm having a sad day. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna fucking jack off. Not once, not twice, probably three times, because it makes me feel better. I feel better all of a sudden. Let me tell you something. Stop drowning yourself in cum. What you need to do is do some shit around the house. It's easy. You put on like one switch plate, your brain starts going like, oh, 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 oh. he's doing man shit, and you feel better. Sometimes I just get a shovel and I just go digging. Like a five-year-old, I just start digging in the backyard. I got like a, a whole goddamn, a trench, a trench setup out there with duck boards and everything. And I stand watch out in the woods. Because it keeps me from getting depressed. It's fucking it's custom PCs again, dude. I, I'm sorry guys, if you're watching, I'm not like a shell. I'm not your free shell. But good luck with your PC building business. I'm, it'll take off, I swear. No, I'm not gonna smash it, dude. See, once again, I can't do crazy little bits like that. I can't say, like, you know, just sulfur and brimstone my floor and smash glass on it. There's kids running around in here. I'm stepping on things. Okay, this knife is not. Hey, guys. Here's the first pun of the day. This knife is not cutting it. <laughs> okay, this looks badass, dude. This guy sent this in. It's a movie called Outlaw Prophet. Look at the art on that. 
Enjoy the enclosed DVD. The creator was the director, star producer, and did the music. He does crazy religious streams like a boomer about how demons are controlling us with porn. I wish I could just instantly go into like a marionette bit with strings coming from the ceiling. What's he talking about? <laughs> We're not controlled by porn. <laughs> I could quit whenever I want. General Sam, my boyfriend and I. Fucking bitch. All right, anyways, uh, next one is we got this big ass box here. And, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> I'll do some stuff for the bit, but that was just mean. Where'd that fucking thing go? <laughs> oh. oh, this guy sent in beautiful, look at this. This is awesome shit. Got for my kids, my kids' room. Look, that's you guys. I'll hang that up in, in uh, Madeline's room. She's getting old enough, she's starting to read, and she'll just sit there and look at it like, dumb, dumb, ass. <laughs> yeah, there was some writing on the back. Hold on. Sup, Sam? Thought this would be funny, so I got this at a 99 cent store with my girl. Fucking piece of shit. Couple mild Taco Bell sauces. This is gonna be one of those bags, one of those boxes. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get the gloves. I love this guy's extra package stuff. This is such a dude move. He just took shit, just random shit. He's, there's a tape tube in here, just paper, random stuff, tape, uh, paper towels. Just whatever he had on hand to stuff his package with. That's what he used. Honestly, a genius move. This, why is my head so stupidly large? This thing like barely sits on top. I think it would be badass to get a, a custom cowboy hat, like fitted for your little noggin and everything. I've never had a, a, a fitted hat before. I look like a gay pilgrim. Yeah, I don't want a cowboy hat anymore. <laughs> I've decided uh, those actually suck. I don't like them. I don't like cowboy hats. It's a bag of gorilla food. Yeah, I'll feed it to Zach. <laughs> People say your stature and the way you sit at the table is very of this vibe. Maybe this food would be for you. Oh, you can get stick bananas, biscuits and cinnamon, repo biscuits, Monkey Crunch 20. Oh my God, if you guys got me some Monkey Crunch 20, I'd be a happy little guy. These diets are not for human consumption. But why not? You know? I'm a monkey, I'm a primate. You could feed a dog that, right? That's dog food, right? If my dog didn't get explosive diarrhea whenever we changed her diet, I'd probably feed her the chimp food. Um, this one feels like a penis. Uh, no, this, this isn't a penis. You know what, dude? It, it, it's hard being a dude. It's hard being a dude, because it's like, you know, you're drinking your beer, all of a sudden, TV tells you your beer's gay. What are you supposed to do there? You're not gonna drink gay beer. I'm feeling a package, and I go, this is surely a cock. I can feel it, it's a penis. I pull it out, it's a gun. It's a gun. I don't know what to believe anymore. The manliest thing in my hands. I close my eyes, penis. This is, that's what liberal programming will do to you. You'll close your eyes and all you see is cocks coming at you from every direction. And I wasn't like this. I wasn't like this until, until I started seeing other guys in the uh, locker room, and they used to play CNN in the locker room. Easy. Christ. These fucking freaks do this shit every time? Holy fuck. There's no way. I don't believe it. This is agony. Ugh. Oh! It's hot in here. Been here for fucking two seconds. Okay. 
I look like a retarded taxidermy. Dude, have you ever seen that movie? Uh, what is that movie called? There's that movie called um, uh, American Beauty. And in the intro, it's him jacking off in the shower. And he's like, this is the highlight of my day. It's all downhill from here. I've always looked at that scene and gone like, dude, how the fuck do you jack off standing up? Like, I need to be comfortable. I need to be just like in a comfortable position and stuff and like just at ease, not like standing on a tile floor. But the fact that these fucking freaks, in order to get off, have to put on this shit? They get off in this? This is horrific. Is it because they're ugly? Is it because or, or when they put this on, they feel like a different person? And they go, this is my mask. I am this dog, and I'm confident. But if I take this off, I lose all my confidence. Christ. Dude, that is... That's a trip in there, guys. You need to put on one of these. You get to put on their skin for a day. These, uh, these people are fucking weird, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I have so many little silk hairs like on my face. I'm sorry, did, did you guys want to howl? Somebody asked for a howl. I, I probably no, I'm not gonna fucking, I'm not gonna play your games, okay? These people are evil. They're not evil. They're just weird, okay? I'm sorry. I'm not a kink shamer. I don't want to see man's best friend fucking another man's best friend. But actually be humans, that's weird. Damn! I know what this is. This is that good shit. Hold on. Tardux Podcast. All right. So this guy, uh, if you guys have ever heard of Tardux Podcast, he runs a podcast where he interviews like Tarkov streamers. And uh, he's actually a really cool guy. We had an awesome podcast. I also kind of got like way too drunk on that thing. He lives up in, up in the big north, up in that liberal north. And they have uh, maple syrup up there. And so his family, his dad, like, actually makes maple syrup. And I was like, I don't want any of your fucking maple syrup. Do you want me to get, like, I don't know, dysentery and die or something? He showed me the whole process. They got a clean operation up there, all right? He sent me some maple syrup. This shit looks good as hell. And, uh, but check out Tardux Podcast. And BB, if you're editing this or if I'm editing this, now would be an insane time to put, like, a funny clip or something from that podcast. Go. Then, then the worst thing in the world happened to me. What was that? Discovered sex. Have you tried that <laughs> stuff? <laughs> Only three times. Have you, done, have you done that shit yet? Oh I've got my three god, kids, you're so missing out. <laughs> <laughs> if you're if you're a viewer of this podcast and you haven't had sex yet. You I highly recommend it. I could not recommend that. Product they should go enough. Google it right now. Mm hmm. Yeah, go Google that how to do it. <laughs> Find a consenting adult <laughs> it has to be consenting. Key, that's a key point right there. <laughs> yeah, yes, that's asterisk. the key point. Yeah. Oh, but um, yeah, I discovered that shit. And then I was like, I'm not going to school anymore. Me and Abby are going to go do that for <laughs> <laughs> on account of <laughs> she got her driver's license before me. So we went and banged out her Camry oh my God. in the fucking parking lot of the Walmart that hadn't been built yet. <laughs> Oh, oh, we're down at the Governor's Square Mall in their parking garage. We'd go hang out down there and <laughs> fuck while the employees were parking their cars next to us and getting out to, like, work at Dillard's. And they're like, what the hell? There's two fucking 15-year-old kids fucking in their car. Um, I did that for a while. And then the, the guidance counselor called my mom, and she was like, did your son die or something? <laughs> oh, no. You, like, disappeared for a couple yeah, I just, weeks. I found pussy. I found out. <laughs> if you like podcasts, go go watch that one. I have no bias. You know, I was just listening to it. I was like, dude, this is just all around just goofs and gaffs. This is just funny stuff. Objectively funny stuff. Uh, also, pretty handsome. Pretty handsome dudes in this uh, podcast episode. Just good stuff. <laughs> dude, hold on. I have to call her.
my cameras have and will rotate towards the glass when I go get packages. Like you can't, you can't be out there with your titty hanging out in the backyard. <laughs> like go elsewhere, go fucking, don't walk by this window. <laughs> No, we can feed tomorrow. I'll do it. Uh, we'll get Poob over here and do it. Poob, Poob's good at lawn care. <laughs> Fucking like, she's out there like doing yard work and she's like dropping a tit. I'm like, dude, these things go around that way. You guys have been facing that window. You, you can see the reflection right there in that thing. <sighs> guys, don't zoom in on the CSI glasses. Oh wait, I never opened this up. That, that was so distracting. You see one titty and you go like, boing. What a woman, I should marry her? Ew, sick. What's wrong with you? <laughs> it's a turn on for women, really. Uh, you know what's a turn on for me? Is showing my dick to my wife and then putting it in her. <laughs> like what's the point? What's the point in just going like, hey, look at my dick and then walking away? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's not for me. <laughs> hey, look at my fucking asshole real quick. All right, bye. Extinction is forever. Wear a condom. Oh, that's badass. Dude, these are like the most posh condoms out there. What are these? Sheer Glide Ultras. This is perfect for a posh wank. Wait, what? Hold on. <laughs> Let me fucking re-scramble my mind. I just read a sentence I have never heard in conjunction with the condom. The Center for Biological Diversity's Endangered Species Condom Project is rallying people to action. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, to learn more about endangered species and human population growth and how to correctly use a condom, Sign up for the Endangered Species Condom Volunteer. Go to endangeredspeciescondoms.com. What the fuck? What a fucking wild crossover. That rocks. Whoever had this idea was on some shit, dude. What if we make a condom thing that brings awareness to the otters, the otters that are dying, and the buzzards before your clothes hit the floor, think of the California condor. What's this one? Is this, before it gets any hotter, remember the sea otter. Fumbling in the dark, think of the monarch. Oh man. Hot dog flavored candy canes. Sardine candy canes. Fuck, dude, fuck. That tastes just like meat. It's just a meat. What's weird is it smells sweet. Oh, oh, it's in the old factories. I got Altoids. Huh? That's called coming prepared, dumbasses. Nothing stronger than this. This is a palate cleanser. Your meat fucking candy cane, gone. I didn't even know I ate it which I am not looking forward to the sardine flavored candy canes. Not gonna try those right now. I just realized how uneasy my stomach is. Zach might get those though. He'll love that shit. In what instance could I use this without getting in trouble? It looks cool. But where could I use that? I guess if I'm doing like some sort of 70s some 70s bit or something on a webby stream. Yeah, I'll, I'll save it for when I'm there. I'll also bring the furry hat for when I'm there too. It got about 15% cooler in here for a few seconds. Yeah. This thing is awesome. What the fuck is like a big ass meat cleaver? Orc choppa. Uh. Let's open some shit. What are we opening next? This one, you. 
open up. Oh yeah, there's not a word right here. It's Pepe, but also Pikachu. Kind of a vibe, to be honest. But you need to watch out though, because the ADL has said that this is a hate symbol. So I think he's cute, except for this fucking part right here. This part right here is racist. The rest of them, he's only like 30% racist. The rest of them is fine. 30% racist? He's just like a regular guy. This <laughs> it's just a regular dude. What a cool guy. He's sitting there on my couch. What the fuck? Why am I not using like gloves? What am I doing here? This looks, this one's weird. It's got cash in it, which is strange. Where'd you guys, where'd you steal this from? You guys don't have cash. What's this thing? 20 bucks? What's going on here? Whoa, a little Soviet pin. Pretty badass, right? Sorry for the bad handwriting. I broke both my hands as a child. Enjoy enclosed. No shekels or something. A card and a medal from Ukraine. Friend, book of stamps, Discord. Dude, this is like reading some serious serial killer vibes here. What the fuck is going on here? Uh, unfortunately, videos influenced me growing up. Fortunately, not troglodyte. Dude, this guy writes like he's, like this is, he had some serious brain burning here while he was doing this shit. Utmost quality in my profession of delivering the mail. I found your inquiry of the pre preposterous to work for the postal service is a terrific pr profession. Yes, safe FedEx is good retirement, amazing pay when we have better in both regards. Dude, this is written, have you guys seen It's Always Sunny, where they have the, um, uh, Charlie writes that like election speech. He's like, Democrat, good. Represent better for all. This, you should vote, me. I leave power, good. Thank you, thank you. This kind of fucking reeks of that. Like, there's a lot of that going on. Yeah, fan mail from Charlie Kelly. <laughs> Very strange here. I don't know what's with the 20. This isn't like, I'll just, that's just like money. I might use that to buy dinner. But this stuff goes in my secret. My secret spot. My secret spot over here. With my secret things. It's all secret over here. Oh, this is from a lady. Oh, a lady and it's fragile. Don't worry, I'll be gentle, darling. And her husband sent it too, but I'm sure he was probably gone on business. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, what do we got? I put this separately because I want you to know that I appreciate your videos. You've brought me countless hours of enjoyment and wish you nothing but good fortune in your career. I hope that you and your family stay happy, healthy, and safe. Thank you. What a nice little, what a nice little, yeah, a little just good vibes last package. Unless it's like, he says it's a picture of me and my kid. What if it's like me like gutting my kid with a fucking knife, <laughs> pulling her innards out or something? Why would I say that? <laughs> yeah, I hope it's not a picture like that. <laughs> Yeah, I hope it's not me turning my kid into a lampshade or something. Oh my god.